Loma Linda was founded in 1905, so we're a little more than 100 years old. Um, we're one of the larger medical schools in Southern California. We take um, about 165 students every year, so that makes us a fairly large medical school. There's about 4,500 students here uh, that are enrolled in any particular year. It's a faith-based university associated with the Seventh-day Adventist Church, so it's a private institution. Our overall motto is to make man whole, and for Loma Linda in general, that has three parts. You take care of patients, we educate students, and we do research. Within the School of Medicine, we're focused primarily on educating physicians, educating scientists, and doing research that will make a difference in the way that, that we understand a small part of the universe, or that will make a difference in how we treat patients. The primary area of research for us is understanding host-bacterial interaction. What is it about some of these organisms that cause disease? What mechanism um, they use? And by understanding the mechanism, uh, we can develop a therapeutic strategy to prevent the disease associated with these organisms. In the lab, we have discovered an important protein that's important to the organism. Without this protein, this organism will not be able to cause disease. And what we want to do is to then make this protein a target. So over the next maybe five to eight years, we'll be able to come up with uh, a drug that can inhibit the function of this protein. And by doing that, we can prevent the organism from causing disease. You have to be able to convert what you learn in the lab to be able to use it in the clinical setting. And that's one of the things that are, that's driving research. This is a very exciting research area. People will know the more genetic component. They know very less about the epigenetic modification which can affect the fetal development and can have a long-term impact on the health and disease. My lab has a major contribution is to develop this animal model to study this uh, chronic hypoxia. We study in the animal model demonstrated when our lab is among one of the first to identify this chronic hypoxia can has a major effect on fetal heart development. I think this research is very critically important for the both clin clinical study and also the basic science research and to promote the public wellness of this uh, problem and also to increase the uh, more important increase the doctor the awareness of the problem so the uh, we, so we can as a society not only a doctor and uh, we also lots of social worker has to be participate to uh, to improve this maternal care and improve the uh, 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 environment for the fetal development A blue zone is really kind of almost an acronym for uh, the idea of a limited region uh, where people tend to live longer than expected. And there's three or four of these that have been described, and Loma Linda has been described as one of those, even though it's a little different in the sense that our studies have not been focused only on Loma Linda, but here it is that we do the research and there is a special concentration here. So we know that there's something about lifestyle affects health experience. What we don't know nearly so much about is what happens in the middle. What is the mechanisms in the body? What are the molecular mechanisms, the biochemistry that's going on there? So what we're currently starting to look at is uh, to have a focus that I think will lead us in the direction of gene expression because it seems likely that the way that we live our lives impacts the way that genes are expressed, which in turn influence the risk of disease. Nowhere in the world can we duplicate the kind of research we're doing here in just this way. So uh, yes, this is a special place. What I'd like for Loma Linda to be in a few years from now will be a place where we actually continue to achieve world-class excellence in our selected areas of strength. I think one thing that's going to be true, not just at Loma Linda, but in a lot of places, is a greater emphasis on team science, of trying to find ways to take people with different types of expertise and combine them into something that's greater than the sum of its parts. Cell biology is 
incredibly complicated, incredibly fascinating, and I think it's going to be the way that we look at life in the future.